Leos, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. Let's get into this reading. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 30th through the 6th of September. Let's see what's going on. I want to get a general overview of what you guys are going through in matters of love when it comes to this beginning of October. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's get two more shuffles. What's going on with the Lions? One last shuffle. Let's get a general overview. Nope. I want a few more shuffles. Let's get two more shuffles. Okay. All right. Ace of Wands, Five of Coins, the Fool, and the Five of Wands. All right, ladies and gents, I feel that you got a new beginning upon the horizon, to say the least. All right. Someone here may be coming out of the dark, someone here in which you may have had conflict with. All right. Might have abandoned the situation. Someone is coming out of abandonment, taking a leap of faith to face the demon. To face the devil, the devil being the conflict. All right, this could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. Nevertheless, what's going on here? Why is the five of coins here? Five of coins, ten of swords. This more than likely was a breakup. This was an atrocious situation that ensued here. I get the sense that this may be past energy. Time might have ensued since this has happened. And it's time for a new beginning, baby. Ace of Wands. That's what's going down this week. It looks like you guys are going to be moving towards a new beginning. Hmm, tell me more. Three of Cups. Somebody here is coming forward wanting to reconcile. All right, Leo. They're coming in hot. The full energy. It could be an area that you're dealing with. Nevertheless, someone's coming out of that hermit energy. Tell me about the full energy. What's going on with the full? Who's acting a fool and moving towards Leo? What's, the, what's with this full energy? The tower. This is going to be sudden, unexpected. This is going to change the entire pattern of what you've been experiencing. Let's just say you might have gotten over something, you've done some healing, you may have gotten some progress here from a tumultuous situation. Well, bam, there's a new shift taking place, all right? A paradigm shift is happening here. Something is gonna be introduced to your reality that may cause stress. It may put you in a place of, imagine you, know, stress doesn't have to be overwhelming or uh, you know, absolutely negative. We wake up and uh, there's different degrees to stress. But there is stress, is what I'm seeing to say the least, all right? Ace of, Ace, of, Ace of Swords. So this type of stress that I'm talking about is like, look, when you wake up in the morning, serotonin is released. And serotonin is, is, is a chemical release that essentially does activate us and make us aware. It does bring an element of stress. Okay? And this stress is, I need to get, I need to brush my teeth. I need to get up and I need to go to work. So it's not overwhelming, but it's, it's an element of friction. Now, the stress that I'm talking about is essentially going to compel an individual to go into an intro, introspective state. They're going to be contemplative about this situation. All right. Heavily thinking about something that they may not be so clear about. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. All right. Tell me more. The moon energy. <laughs> exactly that. So someone here has the intention of clearing up the fog. Leo. Someone here is wanting to clear the mist that has obscured the relationship. They want to get on track. It's like, sure, you might have separated. You might have gone, you know, had a major fallout. But time has passed. And now they're, they're, they're wanting to revisit this. Someone here didn't necessarily let go. This love is still there. Someone here, even though there was a major heartbreak, even though there was a major heartbreak, possible rejection, you name it. It doesn't matter. Time has passed. This individual still has got feelings. All right. Someone here still has feelings. And they're still wanting to razzle, dazzle. <clears throat> What's going on with this five of coins? What's going on with this five of coins? I mean, five of wands. What's going on with this five of wands? Chariot. I'm telling you, someone here is facing this situation head on. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Nevertheless, this individual does not want this to be a missed opportunity. I don't know why this called my attention. The Wheel of Fortune, exactly that. They're wanting to turn the situation around. They're wanting to turn the situation around. Yeah, I mean, you guys are not seeing eye to eye, and this individual here is is kind of digging within themselves. This could be you, to come forward and express, you know, what they must, so that there may be a turn of events between you and somebody else. What's going on with? What's going on with? Oh my goodness! What's going on? with Leo 
and the energy that they're projecting towards their person. I'm going to be getting advice for you here at the end of the reading, so stick around. Tell me, what is Leo's energy towards this individual? Oh, shit. Knight of Cups. I mean, Knight of Page. <laughs> Knight of Page. Shit. I just got a personal reading booking. Knight of Money. That's what it is. Knight of Coins. <clears throat> that is what I'm seeing here, Leo. All right. Somebody, or rather you, seem to be moving towards your individual in a very pragmatic way, very slowly, very meticulously, wanting to turn a situation around. I mean, it's clear that you're wanting to have a new beginning and you want to do things right. You're clearly fond of this person. You're wanting to work on a situation. All right. You're wanting reciprocity. You're wanting equal give and equal take. You clearly have value for whomever it is that you are dealing with. Value towards a relationship. You don't want to lose this. You actually want to get on track. The train must have derailed and you're wanting to get it back on the rail. So it seems. The justice and the chariots. Two major arcanas. Yeah, this is uh, absolute determination from Leo. Leo doesn't... It doesn't matter what has happened. Leo seems to be on the dirt, you know, on their vehicle on their chariot toward bringing balance to a situation the tower leo is absolutely inclined to rebuilding leo is inclined to rebuild three of cups leo is inclined towards reconciling that is what i'm saying here all right enough with leo's energy what is the person that leo is dealing with i want to look into them what is going on with them what is going on with that individual what's going on with that individual going on with that individual two of swords confused uncertain the hermit isolated i'm telling you this is that contemplative state so you may be making a move towards this individual and putting them in a place of stress why are you stressing this individual out leo quit stressing people out you got this individual juggling going back and forth within themselves two of swords two of coins or hermit energy they are contemplating. This is exactly the contemplative that I was seeing. You could be dealing with a Virgo here with the King of Coins and the Virgo. What? And the Hermit. And the Virgo. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Virgo with the King of Coins and the Virgo. The Sun. This individual loves you too. God damn it. We got the Emperor here at the bottom of the deck. Torian, Arian energy. So, what does this individual? All right. What does this individual actually want? What are they more inclined towards with Leo? The tower. Okay, towards change, to say the least. All right, a new shift within the situation. I get the sense that this individual wants to... I really get the sense that they do want to connect with you, but when I look at their energy, it's like they don't know what the fuck they want, flat out. They're still stuck on pessimism, but they find you very attractive. I mean, Leo, you're appearing as the queen of wands. Who wouldn't like you? All right, this is your energy. I mean... Confidence, exuding uh, an element. I mean, I just see a sunflower and I get this feminine scent. You know? <clears throat> yeah, let's see. So, what I am seeing here, Leo, is that this individual is clearly on a fence, but either they are inclined toward you. All right, look, we got quadruple, quadruple twos, two of swords, two of cups, two of wands, two of coins. This individual obviously wants a new beginning, flat out. But I don't feel as if they're too initiative towards this. Three of coins. They're they are inclined to seeing eye to eye with you. All right, I'm gonna tell you. I feel that like you you are in a position that you can woo this individual, and you probably know that. You probably know that. You're like, yeah, I know. I'm gonna come in. I'm sweep this individual off their feet. <clears throat> I'm gonna seduce them. I'm gonna woo them. I'm gonna woo them. Where's your, that confidence? The magician, absolutely. Knowing that you create your reality here. Going after his, what it is. Blah, blah, blah. Going after what it is that you want. Leo is what I'm seeing. Alright, let's see what's going on. What is Leo's advice when it comes to this situation? Too many cards. What is Leo's advice in this matter? Page of Wands. Simply be lighthearted. You know, be lighthearted. Come forward and communicate. Flat out. You got something to say? Say it, Leo. That's it. What do you got to say? What do you got to say? The sun that you want to warm, that you want to reconcile, six of cups. Baby, I want you. I, I hate what happened between us. You know, I want to work on things. Can we take it slow? Can we see if there's still potential in this situation? That's what I'm saying here, Leo. 
flat out. Not all of them, not all of you are gonna resonate with this. All right, some of you are like, no, I'm done with that individual. Well, why'd you even stick around this long in this video to begin with? You already knew where we were going. So, Leo, it seems as if things are on your side. All right, I'm gonna be taking this to the extended where I'm going to be delving into this individual's energy. I'm gonna be looking at their feelings. I'll be deconstructing their feelings towards you at this time. I'm gonna be looking at their perspective of you. So I wanna look into their mind and see how is it, how is it that they view you at this time during the state of distress. I'm also gonna be looking at their actions towards you this week and the near future of where this is going. All right, if you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Leo, it's a pleasure connecting with you, Lions, and I'll see you next time.